When the Travel Guide Lonely Planet came up with the top 10 places in the world to party, the number one spot on the planet, believe it or not, wasn't Rio, it wasn't Amsterdam, it wasn't even fabulous Ibiza, Spain. It was the capital of the former Yugoslavia. It was Belgrade. With a population of about one and a half million, it's the capital of both the Republic of Serbia and what used to be Yugoslavia. Belgrade is really ready to take its rightful place as one of Europe's major cities. Believe it or not, the nightlife is actually leading the way. And it's time, like we do each and every week, to check in with our co-host, Evan Paley, with a little help from Christina, a lovely young Serbian who's gonna start our boy off with a lesson on food before we get out and start clubbing. The location is a traditional Serb restaurant with a name that really doesn't, as you can see there, need any translation. One of the oldest restaurants in town, it is the perfect spot for pre-party Belgrade dining. Yeah. So what do we have? Here is like mixed meat. So okay. We have like white chicken meat and everything is done on the grill. Okay. Uh, here we have gastavisa. Looks almost like a hamburger. Okay. You can't get this in McDonald's. Exactly. All right, with dinner out of the way, it's time to look ahead to the party. And the one thing we came here to find out, does Belgrade deserve the reputation it's made for itself? So tell me, what is the coolest part about Belgrade? What's the party life like here? Oh, the party life is the best part of Belgrade. Like every day there's something going on and the like, party there are like up till 6 a.m. Europe does not sleep. Is there a different kind of party scene or is it all the same? Oh, it's different. We have like more alternative clubs where you can listen to rock bands, rock music. They sing live, they, like, they have DJs. Awesome. Yeah. And then you have like the most popular clubs are the ones that play like house music. House music seems like that's the case everywhere in Europe, but aside from music, Serbia's got another big plus going for it, and that's the quality of the female companionship, something Christina is not too shy to point out. They're saying that the Serbian girls are like the prettiest girls in the world, so... What is cheers in, uh, in, oh. in Serbian? Nazdravlje. Nazdravlje? Yeah. Well, Nazdravlje. Nazdravlje.